Newton Raphson's method is a numerical method for finding the root of an equation. This method is for those equations which are difficult to solve using traditional method. For example, x sin x plus cos x equal to 0. The formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn. Let's derive this equation on our own like Newton and Raphson did. We are given a curve f of x. We need to find a root of this curve which is x and we know just f of x to begin. Let's go ahead and guess the root as x0. This guess should make sense mathematically. We can do this by considering the nature of the curve. Obviously, there is some difference between the actual root and the one we have guessed. How to make this approximation better? Let's see what else we can calculate from f of x and x0. We can find the function value at x0 that is f of x0. How can we do this? By substituting x0 in place of x in f of x. What else can we do? We can draw a tangent line to the curve at f of x0. This tangent line cuts the x-axis at a point as we can see and this point is nearer to the root. Let's call this point x1. x1 is nearer to the root than our first guess x0. So let's find the value of x1. We can see x1 plus delta x is equal to x0. Therefore x1 is x0 minus delta x. We already know x0. Let's find delta x. We will find delta x using delta y and the slope of the tangent line. Delta y is f of x0 and the slope of the tangent line is delta y by delta x. That is slope equals to change in y over change in x. Now why did we think of drawing the tangent line? Because we know differentiation and we can find f dash of x. And we can use f dash of x to find the slope of this tangent. The slope of the tangent is equal to slope of the curve at x0. Now the slope of a curve is f dash of x. Substituting x0 in place of x, we will get f dash of x0. That is slope of the curve at x0 and slope of the tangent line. So we can write f dash of x0 equals to delta y over delta x. We know delta y is f of x0. Therefore, delta x is f of x0 over f dash of x0 and x1 is x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. The ratio of f of x0 over f dash of x0 is actually the distance between x1 and x0. So I can read the formula as the new approximation is equal to old approximation minus the ratio of f of x0 over f dash of x0. The new approximation x1 is nearer to the actual root, but is it? If we zoom in the yellow parts about 5 times, we can see x and x1 are still far from each other. Next, again we draw the vertical line to the graph from x1 to get the f of x1. Next, draw the tangent line at this point to the curve. The point where the tangent line cuts the x-axis, let's call it as x2 which is our newest approximation of the root and it is closer to x than x1 is. The value of x2 can be written as x1 minus f of x1 over f dash of x1. Even now our nearest approximation of the root is not the same as root but nobody is stopping us from iterating again and finding a better approximation. From x2 we get f of x2. Draw a tangent line at f of x2 and see that the x-intercept is almost on the top of the actual root. Let's call this approximation as x3. Its value is, try if you can guess what x3 is equal to. It is x2 minus f of x2 over f dash of x2. The general formula as given by Newton and Raphson to further continue the iteration is 
xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will solve two numericals that is find the root of two equations using newton raphson method. Watch it right now so that you will understand the concept with the help of an example. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Like, share and subscribe for more such content. Let us know in the comments below on what concept should our next video be. This is Alpha Theta Epsilon.